Hello everyone, this is a setup video for the second in our forecasting series on HSMA4 where we're going to set up an environment so that we can use uh, the Facebook profit package for simple forecasting. Okay, so there's two parts to this. First of all, we're gonna look at how do we get the code off GitHub onto our local machine, and then how do we create the Conda environment? So here I am in HSMA for module 9B on GitHub, and what I need to do is get this code onto my local machine. And also to add, I'm gonna do all of this in Windows for you. So, to download this code, there's two options. We could go to the big green code button and then click on download zip. What that does is it downloads a zip file uh, to your downloads folder and you would need to extract that code and put it somewhere on your machine that you can access. Another thing you could do is you could use Git. So I'll show you how to do that. That's the way I prefer to do it. So I'm going to clone this repository. So if I go to the big green button for code again, and you'll see the URL for HTTPS to clone this repo. And if I just click on this icon here, it will copy that URL to my clipboard. So on my local machine, I've decided to put this code in my OneDrive folder in a subfolder called code. So you can see there's nothing in there at the moment. So I can right click on anywhere on that part of the window and say, and select git bash here and that will launch my uh, git utility window okay and it will launch it in the right place so i wanted it in onedrive and the code subfolder and i've got that so just to check do an ls and that's like the directory command and it shows that there's nothing there so that's as expected so in order to clone that repository we just have to type git clone and then if we right click on the uh, screen and select paste, that will paste in the URL we've just copied. And if we press enter, what that does is it then goes away and clones that repository, pulls it all into our local machine. So if we now type ls, we can see that we now have a new subdirectory called module 9b. And if we type cd module 9b and then ls, you can see all the folders and files that we expected are in that subfolder. So that's stage one complete. We've got our code on our local machine. Now don't forget where you've saved that on your machine. The next step is we're going to use this environment underscore win dot YML file to create our Conda environment. So let's just have a look at that and remind ourselves what a YML file does. So let's go back to my Windows Explorer, go into the subfolder and we can see we've got environment underscore win. If I double click on that, on my machine that opens it in notebook. The first time you do this, you may need to tell Windows to open it in, note, in notepad. So a YML file is a, a recipe list so we have a name for that recipe. So here I've got a rather long-winded name of HSMA4, forecast 9B, underscore win. And I've got a place where I do my shopping. So I'm going to go to Conda Forge. And Conda Forge is a supermarket that contains a bunch of Python packages that I would like to install on my computer. And my dependencies list tells me that's my shopping list. What would I like to purchase from Conda Forge that day? So for example, we're going to choose JupyterLab as our IDE today, and we're going to install version 3.2.4 of it. We're also going to install the JupyterLab Plotly extension, uh, version one, because that allows us to have some interactive plots in um, Profit. And the usual suspects of Matlib, Plotlib, NumPy, Pandas, etc. appear. And then the key package for today is Profit, and we're going to conda install Profit on Windows, and we're going to use version 1.0.0. One. So let's close this file and we'll also close git bash. We don't need to use git again now. And we just need to remember where we are on the computer with our code. 
So now I'm going to go down to my Windows search um, menu here and mine remembers that one of the last things that I use one of my top apps is Anaconda Prompt. Um, if that's not there on yours, you could type Anaconda and it should find Anaconda as the prompt as the best match. If we click on that, that opens Anaconda Prompt. Now, unfortunately, Anaconda Prompt doesn't have the feature where you can open in a specific folder. You have to type in the path to that folder, which is a bit frustrating. But there we go. So mine starts off in the C drive, in the users directory, and then Tom M. If I type DIR, that tells me all the subdirectories underneath where I am. So I can see that the OneDrive folder is just one, one directory underneath. So I can type CD for change directory, OneDrive, and press enter. And then if I type DIR again, we can see the subdirectories again. And here we can see that code is only is, is right below that. So I could type CD code and then DIR and surprise, surprise, there's module 9B. So if I then type mod CD module 9B uh, and a trick is if you type start typing mod and then press tab complete, uh, it will fill it in for you if you press tab because it's the only it's the only uh, directory under there that starts with MOD. So now if I type DIR, we're there. We're there with where all our code is, which is great. So now what we're going to do is point Conda at this environment file and say, please create our environment and install all of the dependencies. So to do that, I type Conda env create hyphen f env. If I press tab, it fills it in for me. Conda create an environment using the file environment underscore win dot yml, then press enter. That's going to take several minutes on Windows. It's quite complicated. So give yourself plenty of time to set up for the module. Um, at the end of that, uh, Conda will give you some instructions about how to activate that environment. I'm going to set mine off now and I'm going to go away and have a cup of tea and then I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so that took a few minutes, a um, bit quicker than I thought, and it's all installed on my machine. So let's open Anaconda prompt. Again, I need to change directory to get to where I need to be. Just to check, yes, I'm in the right directory. So everything's installed. If I do Anaconda EMV list, take a few seconds and it will tell me what environments I've got on my computer now. So after that installation, um, I've got HSMA for forecast win installed. And at the moment, I'm not in that environment. I'm in the base environment. So I need to activate that environment. So if I type con conda activate HSMA for forecast 9B win center I'm in okay so now I can type Jupyter lab and that's launched that for me um, it's gone this is the this in Jupyter lab this is our um, this is our directory structure let's see if I can make this a bit bigger for you presentation mode uh, and let's go 150. Okay, so we can see all of our folders here. So again, this is just a different way of looking at our directory structure on Windows. Um, if I go into our code along lectures, we'll just check that everything's installed okay. Um, code along two solutions is probably a good one because that imports profit, and that's the tricky thing to install on Windows. So it's opened the notebook for us. If I then go to kernel, restart kernel and run all cells. It will run everything in the notebook and we can just check that there's no errors. Restart. So when we get this asterisk here, that's when um, Python is running that cell. So it's imported profit correctly. We can see we've got version one, which is exactly what we want. And let's scroll down and fingers crossed there's no errors. Excellent, everything has worked. 
So that's a good way to check that your installation has worked correctly on Windows.